Ya Juma'a 15 ga watan Satumban shekara ta 2023. A yau Juma'a rundunar sojan Ukraine ta sanar cewa ta sake kwato kauyen Andrevka mai tazara kilomita 10 kudu da muhimman birnin Bakhmut da Russia ta mamaye. Ya sawo ika dan bayan da mahaukaciyar guguwar Daniel ta saukar da ruwan sama kamar da bakin kwariya a gabar tekun Libya inda ta yi sanadin kashe dabban mutane wasu na kallon lamarin a matsayin guguwa mafi muni da ta haddasa barna sosai da aka gani a yankin tekun Bahar Maliya kimana ma'aikatan kamfanonin kera motoci 1013 a Amurka ne suka tsaye da ayyukan su tare da gudanar da zanga zanga a yau Juma'a bayan da shugabannin su suka kasa cin mun matsaya da wasu kamfanonin kera motoci guda uku to bayan labaran duniya za ku ji cewa yayin da hukumomi a Najeriya ke kokarin shawo kan matsalar da ta shafi tsarin samar da wutar lantarkin kasar wata fashewa na kokarin kawo cikas a babbar tashar wutar lantarki ta Birnin Kebi saboda duk duniya da duk ya tambata magani ba ka tashi hankali ba saboda iyali na magaba daya ma ba mu san mu ce gaba ne ko mu je mu aza ko ba an tashi alkayama haka kuma masana na ci gaba da bayyana hanyoyin kauce wa lalacewar tsarin wutar lantarki ta Najeriya bayan matsalar da ta samu wadda ta jefa kusan daukacin kasar a halin rashin wutar lantarki Sai ai investim akan su kan su hanyoyin samar da wutar da inda ake rarraba wutar lantarkin idan ta zo da kuma wurin da ake generator wutar sai ya zama kowannen su yana daidai da zamani a Jamhuriyar Niger kuma wata kotu a birnin Jamaica ba da belin tsohon Prime Minister kasar Hama Amadu wanda ya miƙa kansa bayan dawowa daga gudun hijira kamar kowace ranar Juma'a yau ma za a ji haka kuma za ku ji kadan daga cikin ra'ayin ku masu saurare to amma yanzu sai a gyara zama domin jin kashin farko na labaran duniya jama'a assalamu alaikum ga cikakken labaran a yau juma'a rundunar sojan Ukraine ta sanar cewa ta sake kwato kauyen Andrevka mai tazara kilomita 10 kudu da muhimman birnin Bakhmut da Russia ta mamaye bayan kazaman fadan da ya auku tsakanin sojojinta da na Russia Nasara da Ukraine ta samu a baya bayan na akai hara-haran ramuwar gayya na zuwa ne kwanaki kadan gabanin ziyarar da ake saran shugaban Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky zai kawo nan birnin Washington har ila yau a yau Juma'a ma'aikatan tsaron Burtaniya ta tabbatar da cewa wani haran makami mai lanzami da ya auna har kwata rundunar na sojan ruwa ta Russia dake yankin Crimea a farkon wannan makon ya haifar da babban illar da ta yi tsawon makonni ba za a iya amfani da wasu sassan ginin herkwatar ba wata kila ma a dauki watanni yan sawo ika dan bayan da mahaukaciyar guguwar Daniel ta saukar da ruwan sama kamar da bakin kwariya a gabar tekun Libya inda ta yi sanadin ballewar madatsun ruwa da kashe dabban mutane wasu na kallon lamarin a matsayin guguwa mafi muni da ta haddasa barna sosai da aka taba gani a yankin tekun Bahar Maliya wasu kwararru a fannin kimiyya sun bayyana guguwar ta baya bayan na a matsayin mummunan yanayi dake da nasaba da sauyin yanayi manazarta sun fada wa Maria Amarka cewa rikice rikice da ta kaddama siyasa da kuma yin watsi da ababan mura rayuwa al'umma su ma sun taka rawa wajen jefa kasar Libya cikin wannan yanayin yayin da ruwan sama kamar da bakin kwariya na guguwar Daniel ya fasa madatsun ruwa guda biyu inda ya tafi da gaba dan wasu ungwani da ke birnin Dana ya kai su teku wasu kwararru da ke da masaniya akan yankin da lamarin ya shafa sun ce girman barnar da aka yi ya zarce bala'in da sauyin yanayi ya janyo kimanin ma'aikatan kamfanonin kera motoci 1013 a Amurka suka tsaye da ayyukan su tare da gudanar da zanga zanga a yau Juma'a bayan da shugabannin su suka kasa dinke barakar da ke tsakanin bukatun kungiyoyin su da tattaunawa kwanta ragin aikin su da ake da kuma abin da wasu kamfanonin kera motoci guda uku dake birnin Detroit ke san biya yan kungiyar ma'aikatan da ake kira United Auto Workers sun fara gangani a wata cibiyar ajiye sabon motoci a birnin Wentzville na Missouri da masana'antar motocin Ford a birnin Wayne dake jihar Michigan a kusa da Detroit da kuma kamfanin Stellantis dake Toledo a jihar Ohio 
wannan dai shine karan farko a tarihin kungiyar na tsawon shekaru 88 da ta dakatar da ayyuka a dukan kamfanonin uku a lokaci guda yayin da kwanta ragin aikin sa na tsawon shekaru hudu ya shude da karfe 11 da minti 59 na daren jiya alhamis idan ya jin aikin ya dauki dogon lokaci ta yi wudin lalai su rasa motocin saidawa kuma farashin motoci na iya tashi to kuna sauraron labaran ne daga nan sashen Hausa na muryar Amerika a barnin Washington DC An jima kadan Maryam za ta saki shigowa da ci gaban labaran duniya to amma kafin nan yayin da hukumomi a Najeriya ke kokarin shawo kan matsalar da ta shafi tsarin samun da hotel lantarkin kasar wata fashewa na kokarin kawo cikas a babbar tashar hotel lantarki ta birnin Kebi dake arewa maso yammacin kasar wani lamari ya tada hankalin mazauna al'umma wato ya tada hankalin al'umomin da ke makwabtaka da tashar ya kuma hada safar gabar hakan na iya tsawaita matsalar rashin hotel lantarki a jihohin arewa maso yammacin Najeriya wakilin mu Muhammad Nasir ya aika mana da karin bayani tashar ta kamfanin da kwan hotel lantarki na Najeriya dake garin Birnin Kebi ita ce ke tura wuta a jihohin Sokoto Kebi da Zamfara da ma jamhuriyar Niger ta kama da wuta ne ranar Alhamis da misalin karfe 11 da rabi na dare lokacin da yan Najeriya ke fatar dawar hotel lantarki da ta yi batan dabo bayan durkushewar na'urorin samun da hotel lantarki na kasa faruwar wannan lamarin dai ya je farayo kan jama'a musamman mazauna yakin da tashar take cikin rudu da tashi hankali kamar yadda wasu suka bayyana um, sunana alhasa daga nan bayan nefa to gaskiya jiya lalle mun ga tashin hankali gaskiya dan zan kira shi da tashin hankali saboda ba mu taba ganin irin shi ba gaskiya wuta ta fara spike ne tana marmadi kawai sai muka ji tashin bomb din nepat ko da muka fito to kawai sai muka ga wuta ta hargitsi hai mai ake cewa tana ta walqiya tana bodi tana kara kalolin wuta ga sun daban-daban hawa wanda ba mu taba gani ba muna ta gani to ko da muka koma sai ga uwayen musu ma sun hito gudu da gudu wasu ga su nan koma ya hai ba su da abin ya ba su soro sosai saboda wuta ta dade tana ci akalla musu ina ganin har kusan ukun dare ana kashin wutan nan bata mutu ba hatta da ruwan saman da suka ta tahowa ba su kashi wannan wutar ba in ka ce tashi hankali command on the statement ne saboda duk duniya ne duk da ya zama taba gani ba ka tashi hankali ba saboda iyali na ma gaba daya ma bambo mun san ya mu ce gaba ne ko mu je mu aza ko ba an tashi alkayama ka gane mu aza ko an tashi alkayama amma abun da soki dai mu da baya dai abun ya musa mu ba ni iya ce ma ga abun da ya faru saboda abun ya wuce wuri duk wurin ga is covered with lightning and the irrigation wannan lamarin da ya kada da kile fata wadda yan najeriya suke da ita ta samun dawar hotel lantarki wadda tuni ake fama da rashin ta tun kafin durkushe wannan urin samun da hotel lantarkin na kasa suna na shehu malami nan bayan nepa transmission gaskiya muna cikin mawuyacin hali na tabarbarewa haraka wuta kullun wutan mu drofin take in yau ka gane ta lafiya law gobe babu ta lafiya law kuma cikin ma ana baka awa guda ko awa biyu duk da haka nan wata ko bohol ba ta taswa kawo zuwa hada wannan rahoto dai mahukunta a wannan tashar ta hotel lantarki dake garin Birnin Kebi ba su ce komai ba akan wannan lamarin sai dai mutanen da lamarin kan iya shafuwa sun yi kira ga gwamnatin tarayya da ta kawo musu dauki zai duba la kofa sabuwa shugaban kungiyar murya talaka a Najeriya na cikin masu wannan kiran ana tsaron za a doki dogon lokaci an ka samu irin wannan matsala ba a samu wuta ba to kaga abin taji hankali ne na gare mu sosai ya samu ya kira ga ita gwamnatin tarayya ita adda hakkin wannan abu na cewa da Allah a yi tsaye a yi gaggawar jiyar wannan abu Yanzu dai jama'ar jihohin Sokoto Kebi da Zamfara da ma jamhuriyar Niger duk da yake Najeriya ta janye bayawa jamhuriyar Niger wuta saboda ta hukumar da Ecos raka ba mata akwai yuwar za su dauki tsawon lokaci kafin samun dawar wutar lantarki saboda wannan lamarin Muhammad Nasir muryar Amurka daga Kebi a Najeriya a gaida Muhammad Nasir to kuna tare da sashen Hausa na muryar Amurka Washington DC za ku kuma iya bibiyar mu a shafukan mu na Facebook da Instagram da kuma Twitter da dai sauran su ya zo ga Maryam ta dawo da ci gaban labaran duniya a ji alhamis shugaban jamhuriyar dominican ya sanar cewa zai rufa ya dukan iyakokin kasar da ke makwabtaka da haiti daga safiyar yau juma'a saboda wata takaddama game da kogin haiti za a rufa iyakokin sama na ruwa da na kasa da karfe 6 na safi a gogon kasar a yau juma'a kuma za su ci gaba da kasancewa a rufe har sai abinda hali yayi a cewar shugaba Luis Abinader 
jamhuri ya dominican ta kuma tura motoci masu sulki guda 20 zuwa wani sansanin soja da ke kan iyaka ba ma da wani zabi da ya wuce daukar wannan matakin mai tsauri abinda abina da ya shaidawa manema labarai kina a yayin wani taron manema labarai aje alhamis ya kara da cewa mun shirya tsawon makonni da suka wuce ba kawai dan wannan yanayin ba amma har da yuwar samar da rundunar wanzar da zaman lafiya a Haiti wannan matakin dai yana zuwa yanayi bayan da jami'an Haiti da Dominican suka tattauna a ranar kun Laraba da jiya Alhamis dan kokarin cin mu matsaya a da kuma saran ci gaba da wannan tattaunawar kungiyoyin kara hakokin bil adama guda 39 sun bukaci a gaggauta sakin wasu masu fafatakar kara hakokin bil adama yan kasar Bangladesh su biyu da aka yanke musu hukunci aje Alhamis a Dhaka bisa zargin su da laifuffukan bada bayanan da ba daidai ba da aka kwashe shekaru 10 ana shari'ar Adil Rahman Khan da Nasruddin Elan kowa nan ya samu hukuncin daurin shekaru biyu a gidan yari sabar da rubuta laifuffukan take hakokin bil adama a Bangladesh dan wani rahoto da kungiyar kara hakokin bil adama ta Odika ta wallafa a shekarar 2013 bayan wallafa rahoton kungiyar Odika na shekarar 2013 wanda ya bayyana an aikata kisan gilla a lokacin wata zanga zanga yan fafutukar biyu da ake zargi an tsare su babu sakaida ba a cewar kungiyoyin a wata sanarwa da suka fadda kungiyoyin sun kuma ce shari'ar da aka yi wa masu fafutukar na cike da saba tsaron aikin shari'a Mun yamda da kenan aka saurara da labaran duniya daga nan sashen Hausa na muryar Amurka a Washington DC A Nigeria yayin da yan kasar ke ci gaba da jimamin matsalolin da lalacewar tsarin wutar lantarkin kasar ya haifar a wannan makon masana kuma sun bayyana matakan da ya kamata a dauka wajen kare aukuwar irin wannan matsala a nan gaba daga Abuja ga rahoton Halima Abdul Rauf da sanyin safiyar ranar Alhamis sha hudu ga watan satumbar shekarar 2023 ne yan Najeriya suka fuskanci daukewar wutar lantarki biyu bayan da tsarin samar da wuta a kasar ya lalace gaba daya kamar yadda kamfanonin rarraba wuta da dama a cikin kasar suka tabbatar sun dai yan Najeriya daga sassan kasar daban-daban suka fara tofa albarkacin bakin su akan matakan da ya kamata gwamnatin kasar ta dauka dan kawo karshen matsalar lalacewar tsarin samar da wutar lantarki ga al'umarta Sunana Kolibo Harrison wannan National Grid Collapse has become something normal adda muna the generator muna siya may the diesel amada ya zui na kutin da za siya may the diesel to ya zui ni na duba wei iri wanda mba zai iya wa so na jina faya mba nida sola kuma i've been using sola ya kusa shikara goma kena and this care it has helped me ni ina ganka ma government ya ika maata sasa kudi ya chikum wanda sola abubwa amba mamuta ni na mkudi su siya sola power agidon su at least they are to take care of some of their needs while government su duba yende za a jara wannan national grid so sai sunana bashir musa usman gaskiya matsalar rashin wuta da yake damun nigeria abu ne da yake ya ci mana tuwa kwariya ya kai ga lokacin da za a ce duk sa'an da babu wuta babu ruwa kuma babu yadda za a ce jama'a ta kasa za su iya zama ban babu ruwa yanzu haka ana sayar da diesel 950 naira akan yadda ake sayar da shi back in may 2023 650 naira per liter to yanzu duk wanda yake kasuwanci duk and the babu wuta ya shiga wata haula saboda haka muna yi wa gwamnati kira sai da za su yi su samu su shawo kan wannan al'amuran malama Aisha ta Abubakar mazauniyar unguwar mabushi a birnin tarayya Abuja ta ce gaskiya aka dauke mana wuta tunda safe ba a kawowa sai da daddare sannan idan za ka ji aiki ga yara kullun su muna operator akan diesel gashi da tsada in sola ne wani zubin ma aka yi ruwa sola din ma zaka ga kaman baya yi kuma fita shine gaskiya ya kamata gwamnati ta samu tsayayyen mutum wanda zai tsaya ya duba wannan al'amarin saboda shi yasa ai aka kawo yan rufai kuma gowa ya sani cewa yan rufai tsayayyen mutum ne gaskiya wannan al'amari a duba saboda duk inda za a yi idan ba tare da an samu wuta ba an masana'anta ba za su iya yin aiki ba ana sa bangare kwararre a fannin makamashi dr yakub sanodiri ya bayyana cewa za a iya maganin wannan matsalar kanan daga cikin hanyoyin da za a bi wajen maganin wannan matsala ta rushewar hanyar samar da wutar lantarki shine na 
farko dai sai an yi investing akan su kansu hanyoyin samar da wutar da inda ake rarraba wutar lantarkin idan ta zo da kuma wurin da ake generating wutar sai ya zama kowannen su yana daidai da zamani sannan abu mafi muhimmanci shine ayi abin da ake cewa diversification na energy sources wato an samar da hanyoyi irin na renewable energy arka da haske rana na iska da hydro na ruwa idan ya zama ana generating wuta ta wadannan hanyoyi to zai taimaka zai zama ba duka nauyin al'umma da kamfanoni ba dorawa shi national grid din ba wannan zai taimaka masa wajen ya zama ya dade ba a samu irin wannan matsala ba abu na gaba shine sai an rage cin hanci da rashawa a fannin wutar lantarki din a cewar alƙalman ki daddaga daga kamfanin TCN Najeriya ta fuskanci lalacewar tsarin samar da wutar lantarki a kasar da kalla sau 46 tsakanin shekar 2017 zuwa 2023 Halima Abdurrahman Maria Amerika daga Abuja Najeriya a gaida Halima Abdurrahman to a jamhuriyar Niger kuma wata kotu a birnin Yamai ta bada abelin marugun yan adawa kuma tsohon prime minister kasar Hamma Amadu bayan da ya gabatar da kansa a gaban hukumomi sawayi kadan da komawarsa gida bayan shafi shekaru biyu yana gudun hijira a kasashen waje wakilin muryar Amurka a Yamai Suleiman Muni Barma ya aika mana da karin bayani Sohang Prime Minister Hama Amadu wanda ainihi daga gidan yari ne ya samu izinin zuwa ganin likitan sa a kasar Faransa a watan Afrilin 2021 saboda haka dawowar sa gida Niger ke da wuya bai bata lokaci ba wajen gabatar da kansa a gaban alƙali domin yayi bayani kamar yadda lauyan sa Maitre Musi Bubakar ya bayyana mana ya ce da ya dawo ya amsa tambayoyin alƙali kuma mun shigar da bukatar a yi masa sakin talala haka kuma an amince da wannan bukata kamar yadda aka yi wa saura ina tabbatar muku cewa an yi masa sakin talala saboda haka ajiya ya yi kwanan sa na farko a cikin iyalin sa an bi dukkan ƙa'idodin da ya kamata domin ya bayyana gaban alƙali mai bincike wanda ya saurare shi ciki da waje dama doka ta ce ana iya gabatar da bukatar ba da beli a duk lokacin da ake so haka kuma aka yi a ƙarshe an yi masa sakin talala a cikin daren litinin din da ta gabata wayewar talata ne madugun yan hamayya shugaban jam'iyyar mudallima na Hamma Amadu ya sauka birnin Yamai bayan hijirar shekaru biyu a kasashen waje lakari da sabon yanayin siyasar da aka shiga a Niger tun ranar 26 ga watan Yuli ya sa wasu manazarta ke fasara dawowar sa gida tamkar wani matakin share fagen shirye-shiryen zabukan da gwamnatin rukunkwaya za ta shirya a gaba kwari yake matsalolin da ya fama da su a baya na iya zama wani shingen da ka iya hana masa shiga wannan fafatawa da wannan dalilin nema ya bukaci magoya bayan sa su zabi dan takarar yan adawa Muhammad Usman a zagayen farko na zaben shugaban kasa na watan Disambar 2020 da zagaye na biyu da ya gudana a Fabrairin 2021 Sule Mumuni Barma muryar Amurka daga Yamai a Jamhuriyar Niger a gaida sule mumuni barma kada a manta wannan shirin na zuwa muku ne daga nan birnin washington dc akan mitoci 16 25 da kuma 31 a jamhuriyar niger kuma za a iya sauraron mu a tashar mata biyu a africa akan mita 225 baya ga haka ko da yau shi ake so za a iya zuwa shafukan mu na internet a biyu yauza.com ko kuma sashen hausa.com yanzu kuma ga shirin mu na gaba jama'a barkan mu da sake saduwa da ku a cikin shirin duniyar amurka Farko mako ne ne majalisar wakilan Amurka ta sanar da shirin kaddamar da binciken da mai yiwa zai fara shirin tsige shugaba Joe Biden da aka same shi da laifi wato bisa zargin amfana da wasu harkokin kasuwanci da dansa Hunter Biden yayi da wasu kasashen waje za ku ji shari kan wannan mutu sannan a ranar litinin din da ta gabata ne Amurkawa suka yi tare kan tunawa da harin 11 ga watan Satumba da aka kawo Amurka a raran da suka yi sanar da motar dubban mutane a wannan karo harin ya cika shekara 22 da uku kenan kuma za ku ji yadda wani tsohon jami'in tsaro ya mana mai waye kan abin da ya faru a wannan rana yau ga tuntun da zamu tattauna akan kenan sunana Mahmud Lalo Madalla to kamar yadda wataƙila wasunku suka ji a farkon shirin a farkon makon ne majalisar wakilan Amurka ta sanar da shirin kaddamar da binciken da mai yiwa ya kai ga shirin tsige shugaba Joe Biden 
bisa hannu da ake zargin yana da shi a wasu harkokin kasuwanci da dan sa Hunter Biden yayi da wasu kasashen waje shugaban majalisar wakilan Amurkan Kevin McCarthy shine ya sanar da hakan a ranar talata inda ya ce akwai bukatar Amurka su san abin da yawa kana kan zargin da ake wa Biden cewa ya samar wa dan sa Hunter alfarma a lokuta da dama wajen gudanar da harkokin kasuwancin sa these are allegations of abuse of power obstruction and corruption makafi ke ne ke cewa wadannan zargi zargi sun shafi amfani da matsayin sa ba bisa ka'ida ba da hanayin doka ta aikin ta da kuma rashawa kuma akwai bukatar majalisar wakilai ta bincike su shi yasa a yau nake ba kuma mutum majalisar umarni da ya kaddamar da binciken shirin tsige shugaba Joe Biden House Committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden shugaban majalisar wakilan Amurka Kevin McCarthy kenan Kudin ganin da haka na tijibi Dr. Nasir 